find an antiderivative or integral of the following function by method of inspection. Well, sine 2x, we can say the derivative. We know the derivative of cos is sine. So let's write derivative of cos of 2x is equal to negative of sine 2x because derivative of cos is negative sine and multiplied by derivative of 2x chain rule. Derivative, derivative of 2x is 2. So let's write this 2 in front. So that means d by dx of cos 2x is minus 2 sine 2x. But the function we need is just sine 2x. So that we can obtain by dividing both sides by minus 2. d by dx of cos 2x divided by minus 2 will be same as minus 2 sine 2x divided by minus 2. Now this minus 2 minus 2 gone and we get derivative of this function is equal to sine 2x. So can we say, can we say now antiderivative or integral is asking any antiderivative. An antiderivative of uh, sine 2x, sine 2x is minus of cos 2x divided by 2. So this is one of the infinitely many antiderivative of sine 2x. This is our answer, right? Let's take the second one, cos 3x similarly, and let's differentiate a function whose derivative is cos. We know sine 3x, its derivative would be cos 3x times 3. So because of chain rule, you differentiate this 3x also. So 3 times cos 3x. But we are needed only cos 3x. We can divide both sides by 3. And we can write our expression as d by dx of sine 3x divided by 3. This is same as 3 cos 3x divided by 3. This 3 and 3 should get cancelled. So we get derivative of sine 3x by 3 equal to cos 3x. Can we write this clearly? This implies derivative of sine 3x divided by 3 is equal to cos 3x. Now can we say, therefore, antiderivative of cos 3x is therefore antiderivative of cos 3x is sine 3x divided by 3. So part 2 is also 10. Now for part 3, I mean this is actually question number 3. We know derivative of e to power x is e to power x. So derivative of e to power 2x will also be e to power 2x, then multiplied by derivative of 2x, chain rule. So that is 2. 2 we can write in front also. Yes. But we want e to power 2x on the right side. We do not want this 2. So what we are going to do to get rid of 2, Dividing both sides by 2. Divide by 2. Divide by 2. Now this 2 and 2 gets cancelled. So we get derivative means d by dx of e to power 2x by 2 is same as e to power 2x. Now we can say antiderivative of therefore anti-derivative of e to power 2x 
is e to power 2x divided by 2. Let's take the next, the fourth one. ax plus b, I think it's ax plus b in the textbook. So let's take it ax plus b, and this is this is to power half, to whole square. So we know the whole square is the derivative of cubic function. So well, what we can do is suppose this question here is there is correction you are not given this b. Okay, I mean uh, this x with b, so x is not that. It's only a x plus b whole square. So question number four, and we know the whole square thing is the derivative of cubic function. So we should consider the cubic function and d by dx of this ax plus b to power three. And we have done the differentiation of this type, which will be the exponent is written in front and then uh, deducted by one ax plus b to power two. And then again, differentiation of this function, which is the differentiation of ax plus b into d by dx of ax plus b. So what is the differentiation of ax plus b? Differentiation of the first will be a and b being constant, it's differentiation will be zero, means the value of this function, this thing here is just a. So can we write a directly? Yes, multiplied by a. That means it is 3a constant written in front, 3a time ax plus b and the whole squared. And we are given ax plus b whole squared. So on the right side, we just need ax plus b whole squared. For that, we are going to divide both sides by 3a and we can write derivative of ax plus b whole cube divided by 3a would be same as on the right side if you divide by 3a what you get this 3a and 3a should get cancelled no on the left side you divide it by 3a 3a being constant can be written out derivative of this will be ax plus b whole square will be ax plus b whole square. That means, therefore, antiderivative. Antiderivative of ax plus b to power two is ax plus b to power three divided by three a. But you can also write one by three a times, you can also write it like this, one by three a times ax plus b whole cube. All right, let's take the fifth question now. And the question number five is sine two x, which we have done already, right? This part we have done already. And the second part, four e to power three x. For e to power 3x, we know the derivative of e to power 3x. a to power 3x is e to power 3x only. Since 3x is a function of x, so you differentiate 3x once again. So this is into derivative of 3x into dy dx of 3x. But dy dx of 3x is 3. So we are going to write into 3. That means we are getting derivative of dy dx of e to power 3x is equal to 3 into e to power 3x, but we are not uh, re requiring 3 there. Instead, we need 4. So what we will do for that? We are going to multiply both sides by, multiply this whole equation by 4 by 3. Look, this is the equation. We are going to multiply this by 4 by 3. So what do we get? d by dx of 4 by 3 times e to power 3x is equal to 
e to power 3x into 3 into 4 by 3. That is 3 and 3 is gone. So which is 4 times e to power 3x. All right. So what we are getting is derivative of this function is equal to this. That means antiderivative of this is this part. And also the antiderivative of sine 2x we have seen in part 1, it is half cos 2x. Derivative of sine is cos. So what we are writing is, let's write this together now. So we, we are going to write because derivative of dy dx of cos 2x divided by 2. Derivative of cos 2x is negative sine 2x. So negative sine 2x would, negative cos 2x would be sine 2x is equal to, okay, let's write it together one more here. Negative cos 2x and this thing was 4 by 3 minus 4 by 3 times e to power 3x. If you differentiate this, okay, let's differentiate. What do we get? We get minus sine out, actually minus one by two out. And the dif differentiation of cos is minus sine two x multiplied by two. Of course, this two and two get canceled, no? We get plus sine two x. And minus four by three, e to power three x will be e to power three x only multiplied by differentiation of 3x, that is 3. So this 3 and 3 is gone. So what we are getting is derivative of this function over here is equal to minus minus is plus, which is equal to sine 2x and minus 4 times e to power 3x. Well, since differentiation of this function over here is equal to this, we can say, therefore, therefore, antiderivative, antiderivative of sine 2x, sine 2x minus 4 e to power 3x is this function over here. Can we write here? Minus cos 2x by 2 minus 4 by 3 3 e to power 3x. Of course, this is one of the infinitely many antiderivative possible of this function over here, right? We were just ask one, right? an antiderivative. So when we have to write these all, we actually use a constant c and then it becomes the whole family of those antiderivatives or the family of the integrals of that particular function. For now, we have done these five questions. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned, subscribe and uh, share for more videos of this, this, this type. I'll see you in the next lesson. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.